My name is Suchit Patel from the Pennington Cancer Institute at Renown Medical Center, and I'm going to describe our JEM paper entitled Innate Immune Signaling Drives Late Cardiac Toxicity Following DNA Damaging Cancer Therapies. Late cardiac toxicity is a potentially lethal complication of cancer therapy first reported nearly 40 years ago. Radiation therapy and anthracycline chemotherapeutics such as doxorubicin that are central to the curative treatments of many cancers both increase the risk of developing this toxicity but how this occurs is not clear. We developed an animal model of DNA damage induced cardiac toxicity. Mice treated with a single dose of cardiac radiation showed cardiac dysfunction three months after treatment as measured by echocardiography readings of ejection fraction. Cardiac fibrosis sets in from three months to six months after radiation exposure, though no immediate radiation induced apoptosis is evident in the hours after radiation. Because of the delay in dysfunction following radiation, we reason that a delayed DNA damage-induced pathogenic signal is likely at work. We examine the transcriptional response in the principal cardiac cell populations following radiation. Though the acute response to cardiac DNA damage was similar across cell types, we discovered an enrichment of genes associated with interferon responses in antiviral signaling, such as IRF7, in cardiac fibroblasts one month after radiation exposure, as seen in the center panels. As seen in the lower panels, radiation and doxorubicin treatment elicited similar responses in this pathway. Given the DNA damaging action of both radiation and doxorubicin, we reason that this pro-inflammatory type 1 response might be driven by intracellular recognition of damaged nucleic acid. Mice deficient in cytosolic double-stranded RNA recognition, the MAPS knockout mice, elicited identical responses to wild-type mice following radiation, but those deficient in cytosolic double-strand DNA recognition either sea gas or sting deficient animals did not elicit this type 1 interferon signaling, either following radiation or doxorubicin. Indeed, sting deficiency rescues cardiac systolic function following radiation and doxorubicin. Furthermore, death from cardiac events in wild type mice occurs at 300 days following radiation with 50% mortality by one year. But abrogation of sea gas sting signaling rescues survival without signs of cardiac toxicity. Similar outcomes are seen following doxorubicin treatment as well. The Z-gasting pathway has seen intensive preclinical drug development in oncology and autoimmune diseases, and several small molecule antagonists have recently been developed. We tested whether pharmacologic inhibition of sting signaling could be therapeutic. Treatment with a covalent sting inhibitor following cardiac radiation showed markedly reduced interferon activation and also rescued cardiac functional decline after radiation or doxorubicin treatment. Our findings provide new mechanistic understanding of cardiac toxicity following DNA damage and cancer therapy and show that targeting the C-gasting pathway holds great potential in mitigating the development of normal tissue toxicity.